Okay, OpenSea, the NFT platform, uh, the marketplace, uh, has given an update <clears throat> about the insider trading, uh, front running, however we want to frame uh, this behavior. OpenSea updated their original blog post. We covered this on Wednesday show, announcing that an employee who was involved uh, in insider trading uh, of NFTs has resigned. Here's the quote from the blog. We have a strong obligation to this community to move for move it forward responsibly and diligently. Okay, that's a you know uh, a nothing sentence. Uh, the behavior of one of our employees violated that obligation. Okay, they're admitting that this occurred. And yesterday, we requested and accepted his resignation. Uh, that would be the lowest form of sanction. Um, is that you accepted their resignation? I'm kind of disappointed by that. Here's another quote: We do not take this behavior lightly. <laughs> if you're just accepting his resignation, I think you do. Um, Upon learning of this conduct, we immediately commissioned a third party to conduct a thorough review of the incident and make recommendations on how we can strengthen our existing controls. That review is ongoing, but we are committed quickly implementing its recommendations. So that quote is a standard uh, PR tactic. We hired an outside investigator. Here's how it actually works, because I've been involved in this before. You hire this outside investigator. Those investigators, who do they report to? Who pays their bill? Okay. <laughs> OpenSea pays their bill. They report to the CEO and the board of uh, OpenSea. Those shareholders <laughs> are uh, can take that report and throw it away if they don't agree with it. They don't have to act on it. They can create a second report. They can do whatever they want with these reports. The fact is, what this person did was really dirty, and it really is going to tarnish uh, the entire space. Because if one person did this, I'm almost certain 10 other people did. Um, and so the actual response should be, we are going to pursue legal action against this employee. Um, you probably should if uh, you are a trading platform and somebody is screwing the uh, folks in your marketplace. Literally, this person was screwing the buyers and sellers in the marketplace. You should pursue some legal uh, options. I know that's hard to say, but when somebody steals or does something like this, the actual uh, way to take the behavior lightly is to let them resign. Um, you want to take legal action. That's what they should have done here. They should have pursued it with the authorities. Th there might not be anything you can pursue. I don't know if this is exactly legal because. OpenSea and other folks are claiming these are not securities. So if it's not a security, then how is it exactly insider trading? They just bought a... It would be like buying a comic book that you knew was going to be promoted by Marvel Comics and then holding it. The problem is these NFTs are accelerating in cost on the first day. So this is more like that story we had of the Nike vice president. And she was... Uh, her son was buying all the you know, shoe drops before they came out. This is more along that. So more along that line. Um, Open Seas response timeline, they found out in quotes about the employee actions on Tuesday, forced their resignation on Wednesday and announced they will potentially pursue legal action and changing their anti front running control. So maybe they will pursue it. I give their response here like a six. Um, they didn't mention uh, investigating all other employees and checking to see if anybody else had done this. I bet you somebody else, I would say dollars to donuts, 60, 70% chance somebody else in the company's done this, or somebody else's family members have done this. So while this person got caught, you know, somebody could have just told their family member, their cousin, their friend from college, hey, go buy a bunch of these for me. They're going to be huge. And we'll flip them two days later and chop the money up. So um, there's probably some other stuff that's going on here. That's my best guess, but I'm saying guess as well. Now, in more NFT news, NFTs have captured people's imagination because people will buy them and they're basically worthless digital assets. The only value they have is the value that is bestowed upon them by collectors. So there's no intrinsic value in any of these, uh, essentially. Um, maybe somebody can tell me if there is one that comes with rights to borrow, uh, you know, a boat or something, or, you know, people are selling NFTs for time on private jets or, you know, usage of uh, an actual real world private club. I'm not sure if they do. Um, so in more NFT news, Jay-Z sued Damon Dash, his co-founder at Rockefeller Records over auctioning off copyright to Jay-Z's debut album as an NFT. So this is going to get really complicated. So in June, Jay-Z's Rockefeller Records sued its co-founder, Dame Dash, after hearing about Dash's plans to auction off his stake in the company as an NFT. Now, why would be, if he has a stake in the company, does that stake in the company come with uh, residuals to that album? Is there any value to it? Do you have a voting mechanism? Is this company active? And are these rights active? Oh, who knows? In July, Dame Dash launched an auction with a starting bid of 10 million for his one third share of Rockefeller, 
is one third share of reasonable doubt and a commemorative NFT representing the certificate of ownership. This is the NFT. It looks terrible. Um, and it says it's the rock. It's the diamond. You get the idea. Uh, quote from the website, Damon Dash is auctioning his one third interest in Rockefeller Inc, which owns reasonable doubt Jay-Z's first album. I, I don't know what it owns. Does it own all the rights to it? Can you then sell the songs on reasonable doubt? to a movie um, and get one third of the fees. So if somebody wants to use it in a TV show, i.e. licensing or have those rights been sold, the highest bidder will also receive the commemorative NFT. It's the rock representing certificate of ownership. The Bloomberg article explains the convoluted legal argument as quote, Rockefeller says that while Dash holds a one third stake in the company, it owns the album itself. And he has new legal right to sell the NFT. Essentially, Rockefeller saying Dash has no right to mint his stake in the record company or the album itself as an NFT and sell it. And uh, I'll just add here, like, I think they're trying to screw the person who's buying it. Like, what are they actually buying? You're buying yourself into a lawsuit? Um, seems pretty dumb to me. Uh, Dash was blocked from selling rights to the album and agreed to wait until the lawsuit was resolved before continuing the auction, according to Bloomberg. Uh, the Bloomberg article quoted Dash's lawyer, who stated that, quote, Dash is just trying to assign the rights to future royalties He's entitled to as one third owner Rockefeller, as artists have done for a long time. So I guess you are getting the rights to future royalties. Do you get all of them? Do you get them up until the price you paid for it, $10 million, and then you split them? I don't know what the contract here is. The lawsuit's ongoing, so Dash's NFT auction has been put on hold. Um, so, I mean, he's talking about selling his stake, which would be securities, as a, an NFT, and we're having this discussion, are NFTs securities? Well, this one is specifically designed to act like uh, and represent a security. So this one for sure is a security. Are other ones a security or are they a trading card that just happens to uh, accumulate a lot of value um, to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Reasonable Doubt, his de debut album, Jay-Z sold his own NFT via Sotheby's for 138K. Uh, on Sotheby's website, it notes the NFT was on sale from June 25th to July 2nd with a starting bid of 1000 and it's a slightly better looking um, uh, NFT, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, it, this is the Wild West NFTs. Basically, people are looking at them and saying, this is a way for me to get somebody with a bunch of crypto money to give me that crypto money, and I give them back a JPEG that really has, you know, probably little to no value. And if it acts like a security, and, uh, you know, I guess it's a security, it's, it's really hard to tell in these cases. Um, because these are something new. They're not exactly securities, but if people are buying them because they increase in value and you're selling collections of them and you have marketplaces, I can see people making an argument they are. Um, and they can obviously be used for all kinds of um, money laundering and a washing of money that was obtained illegally. So, you know, these are this is a really um, interesting, dangerous, weird thing that has occurred so if you're into this nft space and you made a ton of money suggest doing a little profit taking have fun out there um but if it's 99 percent of your net worth and you can buy a house with half the money um or pay off your college debt that's never a bad thing to do i wish you luck be careful out there have fun you know consider it like gambling when you are trying to grow a startup fast, hiring engineers will slow you down like nothing else. Don't I know it? So many companies I invest in are telling me they can't get their next version out because they don't have a great engineer. Well, Lemon.io will find you a perfect candidate in just 48 hours. It's a marketplace of engineers from Europe, and they test and interview every developer to eliminate the risk of a failed project. Lemon.io is the perfect solution if you are a technical co-founder and you need to delegate some of your important tasks, or you have a project that needs specific technology and you don't have that skill on your team yet, or you are just growing so fast that you need to add more developers and get more done faster. They'll match you with a candidate within 48 hours, and if it doesn't work out, they'll replace the developer right away. So here is your CTA, the old call to action. If you could use a full-time or even part-time developer to run your projects faster, go to lemon.io slash twist. Once again, lemon, L-E-M-O-N dot I-O slash twist. And you'll receive a 15% discount for the first four weeks of work with that amazing developer. Well done, Lemon. Okay, check it out, everybody. Lemon.io slash twist.